Hey guys, so a bit of a life update from me. I am personally going through a very pivotal moment in my life and I know that at this point, my future is entirely dependent on what I do. This is my chance to either succeed or fail. And of course, like any sane person, I don't plan on failing. So while everything is still settling and getting figured out and I don't have all the details yet, I can't quite share anything yet, but I am planning to maybe within the next couple of weeks, depending on how things go but I would definitely keep my eyes out for that. But just in the meantime, I kind of want to take this moment to document this choice I've taken, this kind of bend in the path, this fork in the road, where I'm going to be pursuing a different kind of life path than what society tells us is proper to follow. But something that I can definitely attest to is that I will be and I have been working harder than I ever have before. And I don't mind the hard work. And something I want to talk about was how to get yourself to learn to love working hard because a lot of people will have a really hard day at work or for like a tough 18 hours and they kind of backpedal because it doesn't feel good and you don't like it but i wanted to also put that in context of something like fitness where the first day you go to the gym you're going to be feeling sore but you keep at it and eventually the soreness goes away and i want to say it's the same thing with working hard and if you keep that in perspective keep that kind of same kind of mindset when it comes to pursuing anything in life, uh, financial goals or just personal freedom, education, any of that, it's the same thing. While this channel has primarily been about fitness and nutrition and just achieving your weight loss goals, we're still going to be talking about that, but I want to make this sort of more well-rounded and encompass other aspects of life that I want everyone to succeed in and document my own journey with this. So I'm going to be documenting my financial success, my financial failures, and sort of any other things I'm doing in life. And hopefully that you guys can learn from my mistakes or maybe see what worked for me and see if it can work for you too. And honestly, I have to say that I wasn't always like this. If you were to ask Nadia from four years ago when I was 18, I would have said that I don't need to work any harder than I already was because I thought I was on track for life, that the effort I was putting in was good enough. And Honestly, I feel like I have to say that I've learned from this because you should never be comfortable with where you're at. You should always want to level up, go further, go and see what else you can do. It wasn't until that I was 21 that I had a really sharp wake up call and it started with my fitness and it started with my, my weight. It was when I noticed that my ex and I weighed the same amount. And again, he was five foot 11 and I'm five foot three and we should not be weighing the same. So I knew something was wrong and it's a bad wake up call. So what did I do? I had to change my mindset about how I was eating and how often I was working out and my intensity of working out. And once that changed, the results and progress followed. And so I know that this sort of mindset will be applicable to anything in life because I've already accomplished it once. And so now today I am recording it, but I'm having another one of these pivotal wake up calls. And it has to do in terms of where I'm at in life and where I want to be in the future. So this is very much something that's going to affect me in all of my life. Life, my weight, this is going to affect me, but it's not just my health, it's my well-being and it probably the well-being of my future family. Honestly, anywhere you go, it's the same old story. Go to school, get a degree, get a safe paying job, and from that job, get paid and have your benefits, and then with your paycheck, for what's left after taxes, use that to pay off your bills, and whatever's left, if you don't save it, use it to make you happy. And I don't want to follow the same cycle. Not that it's bad and that you shouldn't be doing it. If that's what you're comfortable with, do it. But I personally believe that I want, I can be exceptional, and I know I will be. It's just a matter of mindset and the willingness to work really hard and grind for the next few years. And the way I see it, Working hard and learning to love working hard is just like a muscle that can be trained at the gym. When I go to the gym in the beginning, it's going to hurt, I'm going to be sore, and it, I'm not going to like it. But the more you push through it, eventually you start to get these positive reinforcements. Oh my gosh, my weight is dropping. Oh my god, I'm building a bicep. Like I'm looking good. Positive reinforcements makes you excited to go to the gym, excited to work out, go for that run. And so the same thing is with working hard. When you're working your ass off and you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears into a project or into something that you know can benefit you in the future, but the payoff is late, it's the same way. Getting that positive reinforcement is a great way to teach yourself to love working hard. Four years ago, I didn't have this mindset. It was after talking to so many different people and meeting different kinds of people who had a different look on life that didn't fit the stereotypical 
the stereotype that's taught in school that I learned that I can also break out of this box. I want to be able to come back and look at my YouTube channel and look on my timeline and point a finger to a specific video where I am claiming I am making a difference and it for it to actually take a hold. And so I don't mind hard work like I used to. In fact, we can actually take a look at my calendar just to show you what I'm doing throughout my day. Okay, so if we were to actually go ahead and start looking, um, you can see here that today is the 29th, so I'm looking at tomorrow's. But for Wednesday the 30th of August 2023, my plan is to wake up for the gym and start working out at 5 a.m. until 7.15. So from 5 until 6, I'm typically on my run and then after that I'm at the gym. Then this little gap here is typically for showering. And then when I'm finished showering, I will quickly edit my reels and that I post for Instagram and YouTube and all of that. Uh, usually two, that doesn't take me too long. Then I have breakfast and then a whole editing session for my YouTube videos, try to get that out of the way. And then whenever I mentioned study sessions, that's when I'm basically just expanding my learning. That would be looking at courses on stocks or looking at courses on how to sell better because I have taken on a position where I am getting into sales and looking into commission and looking at ways to make profit off of that or also learning about real estate or crypto any of these things that can help just take me to the next level and then my sales position that i mentioned the office is in san diego so i go down to san diego a couple times a week so i just marked off the time for me to drive there and then when i get there the training session will start in the office and then we go out and we actually start trying to sell or we do sell not trying um that would go up until typically 9 p.m. And then once we finish, I will be driving back so I can get any, get home anywhere between 9 and 10 p.m. Like I said, I don't mind the hard work and I'm not afraid of it. I'm ready to put in the effort. And I just kind of want to document this on myself. And then I just wanted to encourage everyone else to start looking at how they can also change their mindset and work hard. And while maybe you prefer to have a nine to five job and you don't mind living paycheck to paycheck because I know some people are perfectly okay with it and they're happy and I'm not giving anyone shit for that but you can always find a way to do better there's always something in your life that you can work on and when you're able to find it and put the effort into change it I think that's when your entire life changes and that you have a better quality of life so the purpose of this video is basically that one I'm going to be changing the general content of this channel while it's still going to be talking about health and fitness and weight loss it's also going to be covering other aspects of my life that I feel I want to document and then two, I just really want to encourage everybody to change their mindset when it comes to hard work, where you can have a very full day and you feel extremely productive and be happy. It doesn't have to be that you're feeling drained all the time. It's just a matter of building up resistance to it like you would with the gym. And I just wanted to see how to show you how these things can definitely go hand in hand. I definitely look forward to everything that the future has to hold and I look forward to these next couple years of just working really hard, growing my channel, excelling in sales. And when I can share that information with you in regards of what I am looking at that is making such a big change in my life, I will be sharing that. So definitely watch out for that video in these upcoming weeks. So in the meantime, if you did like this video, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.